Hey, welcome to the channel. This is MacCam89, and today we're going to be doing another GameStop video. So if you didn't know, they recently had a pro sale. So if you were a pro member, you got exclusive discounts on pretty much everything on the website and I believe in store as well. And they were having a really good sale on retro games. A lot of them they were doing buy two, get one free. So my first video, I bought a bunch of N64 games. Those came in great. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you the last two that did not come in for that video. And I also decided to do two more orders from GameStop during that same sale. Uh, but this time it was going to be for the Nintendo Wii U. They had a pretty good selection in stock, good pricing. And again, they had to buy two, uh, get one free. So I did a couple of separate orders for that one uh, to get the better price point. So basically it was equal or lesser value. So in order for me to save more money, it was better for me to do separate orders so that I didn't uh, just get the cheap games for free. I ended up getting a, a couple of the more expensive games as part of that buy two, get one free. So overall it was a great sale. However, I did have an, uh, an issue, quite a bit of issues with these last two orders that i did for the wii u one of my orders hasn't even shown up yet and i placed the order on october 20th i did eventually have to call them um because the, typically when i order from gamestop they usually come in you know four or five days uh the most and uh it, it didn't so i decided to give them a call when I used the tracking number, it would say post office was waiting for the item. So it was just as if the the USPS didn't never actually received the package to begin the delivery. So I ended up calling them. They told me that it was lost in transit. Supposedly, it's the post office fault and that, you know, it'll take five to seven business days for them to reship my order. And I haven't gotten any updates uh, the order status has not changed. I have not gotten any follow-ups or emails or anything like that. Um, so hopefully I'll see those and then uh, I can do a video of those. And that's just one of the issues I have. I'll explain the other issues. But let's get into the N64 games that I got. I was very happy with what they sent me in the first video as far as N64 goes. And the rest of the N64 games were pretty good as well. And the first game from that last order is F-Zero X for the Nintendo 64. Uh, great condition, has a great label, nice and clean copy. I've already played it. Uh, I've been having some fun with this game. It's a great game for the Nintendo 64. If you haven't played it, uh, add it to the collection. It's typically not too crazy price-wise. price, price -wise. I'll put the price that I paid for it on there as well, as well as some gameplay footage. And that's F-Zero X for the Nintendo 64, great game. The next game is also a game that's not too crazy expensive. This one I ended up getting for free as part of the buy two get one free. And that is Mario Tennis for the Nintendo 64. Also a fun game. You can have a four player co-op on this as well. Not co-op, but four players, two versus two. Also just a fun game to kill time with. Um, and i um, glad I was able to pick this up. Also in great condition, great label, nice and clean, plays no problem. Uh, I always clean them out before I actually put them in my N64 and no issues. So this was able to play no problem. All right, now getting into the Wii U. The first game that I got was Mario Party 10. And it's in great condition. The box is in good condition. It is uh, it is not complete in box for this one. But the disc is in good condition. It does play uh, for this particular version. This game I have mixed feelings about. And I feel like I'm going to do a video on this at some point. And kind of go a little bit more in depth. Because this is... It can be a game, it can be fun at times, but very frustrating. And 
typically, especially if you play the Bowser mode, I feel like if you're playing Bowser, you're having fun. But if you're not playing as Bowser, uh, you're typically just getting beat on the whole game. And if you do win, it's usually by the skin of your teeth. Uh, but when you happen to beat Bowser, um, there is some gratification there on uh, being able to beat him just because of how much of a of a beating that you take. Um, you know, you, you really feel the wrath of Bowser. Uh, but not a bad game. Definitely one of their, one of my least favorite Mario Parties, but it's the only Mario Party that is on the Wii U. And it was part of that buy two, get one free sale. So had to pick it up. Uh, I think overall condition, GameStop uh, did me good on this one here. Mario Party 10 for the Nintendo Wii U. Also another great um, Wii U game. Uh, I actually do not own this version on the Switch. Uh, obviously that is the best way to play it, but I thought it was a great deal for it. And that is Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Let's see if it's complete in box. The case is in great condition. It is in complete in box. It does have the manual and the disc. And the copies are very clean. Same with Mario Party 10. The disc was very clean. Same with this one as well. Very fun game. Especially you can get four, four players or actually more. You can do up to eight players on this one. So a lot of fun. Uh, the kids have been loving this game. Ever since I picked it up, they've been playing this nonstop. So having a lot of fun with that. That's Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. All right, the next game is a game that I've only ever played the demo of, but I enjoyed it. And I'm not sure why I never actually ended up buying it. Uh, but I'm glad I have it now. And that is Hyrule Warriors for the Nintendo Wii U. Case is also in great condition. So, so far you're watching this video and you're like, wow, GameStop's really coming through. And for the most part, they have been pretty good. It is complete in box, so it does have the manual and disc. Again, also nice and clean copy. I think the biggest thing with these games is they are, any of the Warriors games, they are a lot of fun. But what happens is, at least for me, is they get extremely repetitive um, to the point where I do get bored at, at some points. And then I do have to take a break, but eventually come back to them. Not a bad game. Uh, I think it's a great use of the Zelda property. Um, it's always nice seeing Nintendo do something different, like something like this, even though it's not a mainstream Zelda game. It's still a lot of fun and uh, a great skin for the Warriors series. So it's a win for both Nintendo and also for uh, the company that does the Warriors series. So great collaboration here. I do recommend it. And this game is not that expensive as well. So again, I got the buy two, get one free. So some of these games are free. But even, even their normal pricing was really good for this. The next game is a game that I really enjoy. I own this also on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. But I've always had a fondness for the Wii U version. And that is Sonic. All-Stars Racing Transformed. And the cool thing about this one here is you could actually have five players. And that is exclusive to the Wii U. You can have somebody playing on the gamepad and then four additional people playing on the television. So again, exclusive to the Wii U. You couldn't do that on the PS3 version or the Xbox 360 version. This game is a lot of fun. If you're looking for an alternative to the Mario Kart series, this is one of the best, um, you know, kart racers that you can get that's not Mario Kart. Very, very good game. Also not expensive at all. This one is also complete in box. Very, very clean copy. So very happy with this one. And so far, another win. The next game is donkey kong country tropical freeze also for the nintendo wii u all these rest of these games are all going to be wii u um case is in great condition 
I believe it is complete in box. It also is complete in box. The disc is in great condition. Very rare that you get a Nintendo first party game that isn't good. And this is, this doesn't fall into that category. This is a good uh, first party Nintendo game. It's Donkey Kong. If you like platformers and things of that nature, you're gonna like this game. It is two players as well. Um, I'm looking forward to actually playing this through with my daughter at some point. Maybe a live stream. Maybe I'll do something different like that uh, for the live streams. But this is a, a great game. Also not too expensive as well. So if you don't have it and you have a Wii U, you can also get this game on the Nintendo Switch. Um, you know, obviously the Wii U itself didn't sell well, so Nintendo took the opportunity to port a lot of these games over to the Nintendo Switch. So you can get it there, and they're typically better versions uh, of these games. But I have a, a soft spot for the Nintendo Wii U. I always have, and uh, I'm going to be doing a video on that as well because I got I got blessed. A uh, family member uh, ended up giving us a Nintendo Wii U that they had that was just collecting dust, so... Uh, pretty awesome all right the last game that i have from this initial order again i do have another order that's supposedly on the way but i don't know it's, it's been a while now um this is sonic lost world and this particular one is the deadly six bonus edition so hopefully that stuff is on the disc if not i'm gonna have to um you know, find a way to be able to download any any DLC because the Nintendo Wii U shop e eShop is no longer available. You can download existing, um, you know, you can download games that you, and DLC that you purchased before the eShop closed. However, you have to log in with your Nintendo ID account, and unfortunately, the one that I used uh, that had all that stuff is still tied to an older Wii U that I don't have access to so I don't know how to be able to recover that account so I had to create a new account and obviously I don't have anything on that account so unfortunate but um, that's that's the price that we pay nowadays for digital content you know at any point in time they just decide to close these shops and you know you lose access to the games and DLC but anyways, getting back to this, I did play it back in the day, but honestly, I don't know. I don't remember how well it is. I don't remember how well it plays. Um, I'm a huge sucker for Sonic games, so I typically will buy Sonic games no matter how bad they are. Um, it's just what it is. Uh, as you can tell uh, around my room here, I got tons of Sonic stuff. It's just it is what it is <laughs> with me. So I'm one of those. Uh, um, those enablers, I guess you would say, when they come out with bad Sonic stuff and I buy it anyway. So, but I'm looking forward to checking this game out and, and rekindling those memories of whether it was a good or bad game. So, like I had promised, um, GameStop did mess up again. So, there is that one order that's kind of in limbo right now. Uh, there's a couple of good games in that order that I'm really looking forward to getting. Um, but I ended up getting another package from them unexpectedly. And it's actually a really good, uh, it's actually really good that I did because as I'll explain. So GameStop ended up sending me another package and they sent me all the same games that I just showed you. So this was actually the original package that I had originally gotten. So the ones that I had shown you those are the ones that came in the second package. Uh, the second package was a lot better condition than what these are. And I'm really glad that they ended up sending two of the same orders because two of the games that are in this pile, they don't work at all. And that being Mario Party 10, which you can see is in a generic games uh, GameStop case. So all the games that they sent me in that other box is was in better condition. It, they were complete in box. Um, so this game is very odd because the game, the disc itself, is extremely it's clean, 
And it just has like these random scratches. You know, they're extremely faint, but it must just be enough where you put this in and all the Wii U says is invalid disk. So this game didn't work, so I was pretty disappointed because this is one of their one of the higher priced games. Um, so I wasn't too happy when I got this original box and two of my games were not working. The other one that was not working, which was also a game that I was wanting to play, was Super Smash Brothers. So it's the same story. And in fact, this disc here, it's not going to show up on camera, I don't believe. But they're extremely clean. And this one doesn't even have any any scratches like on it at all so i don't really understand what the issue is um but when i put it in the wii u again it just says an invalid disc and tells me that the game might be dirty or scratched but you know as you can and see there's there's nothing there and then the other games they do work they're in various conditions um they're in good condition the other ones are but it's the same exact game so you know i i already own them so it's hard to kind of be mad at them because yeah they lost one of my orders uh, it's in limbo somewhere um they initially sent me two games that were bad but then i get some mystery box um where i didn't even have the tracking number it just showed up and it's the same it was the same exact order of my original order so you know, I guess that's a win for me because now I don't have to chase them for the two games that didn't work. Uh, but now I'm still waiting uh, for it. So I don't know. Maybe they they were probably... I mean, the sale was actually going on for quite a while. And this is not a video to hate GameStop at all. That's just... My experience wasn't that bad. And, uh, you know, a lot of this is it's first world problems. It is what it is. It can... With a phone call, can be easily taken care of. Minor inconvenience. Um, they they probably got slammed uh, with orders, and and somehow my order got duplicated. Um, doesn't appear that I got charged for two orders, but um, again, I'm still waiting for the other games. And once those come in, I'll I'll do another video. Uh, that one I'm going to do a surprise unboxing so i won't even look at the games i'll do the video and open them and we can uh, watch the conditions and uh, i'll probably what i'll do is i'll have the wii u in the background we can pop in the discs and make sure that they work uh, live on camera uh, but what do you think did i make out pretty well with this buy two get one free sale i think i did overall uh, even if they if i didn't get the mystery box and everything came in and they worked like they should have um I think I got a great deal. I'm going to put it up, up what I paid versus what I saved. And, um, you know, so far, even with these issues, I, I've been pretty happy with GameStop. And I'm most likely going to continue to watch their retro game section and, and still order from them. You know, it is what it is. Um, it's not the end of the world. So uh, it, mistakes happen. That's just, you know, the, the world that we live in and... And sometimes we got to be a little bit understanding. But uh, yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for those that have been, been subscribed for a while, that have been commenting on, on my videos. Again, it's been a great time interacting with you all and, and watching your videos as well. So thanks again. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more updates on my GameStop orders and other um, unboxings and, and things of that nature. So as always... Thank you and God bless.